Welcome back. We made awesome progress in the temple last time. Got our epic boomerang. So, now we're on the quest for the boss key, mini boss, final boss, all that good stuff. So, all the way down here. So there's one section in this floor we didn't quite enter yet. I kind of passed by it when I got the uh, map or whatever. But I guess I could have put it off till getting until now on the way through, but that's okay. chest there. Yeah, that's just, again, like two or five or ten rupees or something silly. Whoa. Oh, come on. I need my hearts. I need them. Oh, well. Yeah, here without the boomerang you're gonna get stuck. Without the level two one at least. Hearts, why not? Good enough. Another one of the same here. Whoa. Man, this place is painful. I love it. Oh, yeah, another awesome thing. Oh, don't fall down there. I don't want to fall down there. Not yet, anyway. Maybe I do. Oh, I do. Okay. <laughs> I guess I didn't need to kill those guys after all. Didn't we get to use our... our... Seacher. I mean... Slingshot guy again. Interesting. I think you can take as long as you want, but the ones in the first few might burn out. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, so this place is going to be painful. Just think Indiana Jones. If he had Pegasus suit, or sorry, Pegasus seeds, and awesome jumping power with the feather, he would have had no problems. So 135, I think that's only worth 10. It's only worth one. It's big, but it's separately worthless. Perfect. Even one more squeeze it would have been okay. If the door is like half open, it still lets you through. If it's only like half covered or whatever. But don't worry, it's safe now. So that's a win. A lot of work for one rupee, eh? Well, for the boss key, really. Go through another one of these rooms. Didn't miss one, so it's got to be a block push. There we go. Again, just like the very first of the game, you have to kill all enemies before the block is able to be pushed. If you push it beforehand, it just won't work. It's unmovable. There we go. I don't have a key. Did I screw that up and miss one? Unless there's one down here. I have a feeling, yeah. Yeah, jump over the trampoline. Just I don't want to have to edge around it and risk falling down there. So just be careful on these edges. Until we get the key. There we go. It's just to save time. There we go. Now we're rolling in it. Rolling! This guy's a pain, just like last time. The spikes make for a good bonus. A spin attack works if he lunges at you. Otherwise, you can often sneak in a few hits at the edge as he's kind of trolling around. Doesn't always work.
hopefully he charges at me like a lot and he can just die really quick. Often he gets really annoying and just kind of stays at the edges like every time or does that every time. It's pretty annoying. Or you know, just do that. <laughs> just walk into him and do a spin attack. And then we'll see it coming. As soon as you slash your sword, he flies away, right? So with the spin attack, you're good to go. <clears throat> Again, the dialogue is probably different in the non password games, so. Are these spikes here from the password game? That's a good question. I don't think the first time I fought him, there were spikes there. Anyway, more jumping. I love that room. It's so, like, you just relieved, you beat a mini boss. Holy crap, trap! It's a trap! Ah, oh, run! Jump! Don't die. Yeah, good stuff. Place is all about the combat. I, li I like combat dungeons. Good stuff. Now, here, I think the left switch does something bad, but. Or maybe it's just useless, but don't push it. Just don't. Just don't do it. Can't have it. Can't win with it. These aren't a big deal now that we have the mini-boss warp, so if you get swallowed, you can kind of just come right back. Still a kind of annoying. Oh yeah, and then normally, you have to kill these guys with the bombs, right? You, like, use your shield to bounce them back and maybe drop the bombs on them, but... Actually, what I didn't know at first was you can just kill them with this thing. Which I guess I could have gotten getting that first key, I could have killed it with that. So that's a cool little trick, if you didn't know that. I kind of want to see statues came alive, just so I could kill them. Because the boomerang is so effective on them. But alas... None of that. This is pretty easy. You can probably definitely go with a straight boomerang. If you, if you have the timings right. So I almost did. There we go. Yeah, you don't even really need to curve it for that. Yeah, I think we're almost there. Almost there. Of course. Of course not. I know this is some sort of trick it is, where these tiles are, yeah, dead ends. Okay. Now let's move it a couple over. Too far? I hope, hope not. Perfect timing. Don't even need the boomerang for that one. Made it. Okay. <clears throat> Boss fight coming up. This one's long again. It's got two phases. First phase is kill its four heads with the boomerang, um, but only the, 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 the head that's facing you usually isn't open. You can only hit them when they're open, so you kind of have to loop it around. Second phase, again, hit it with the boomerang until it kind of opens up and kill it inside with your sword, so a little bit of a pain in the ass. I'm just going to end the video here because I don't want to, you know, run out of time mid-fight or something or whatever, but yeah, there's... Not too much to do before the next dungeon. I think we can pretty much go directly there after that. So yeah, this dungeon and the next episode, just, you know, straight to the next dungeon and moving quick. Doing good. See you then.